by the eights. It's my 2017 bike check of a 2013 bike. Um, I've actually owned this bike already, but it was a bonus vapor flip bike. And basically in this video, I'm going to explain this bike. I'll basically review it, what I think about it. And uh, yeah, just give you a breakdown of what the bike's all about. So, I'm going to start with the frame here. Uh, just reading it off Sunday. And then I'll review what I think about it. So it says that the frame is a full Kamali frame with the wave down tube. Sunday's been doing the down tube since they started. Uh, recently I noticed Aaron Ross doesn't have a down tube like that, the wave. Basically what the wave down tube is, it just strengthens the frame. You know, like you don't bend it as easy or dent it. Once you dent a frame, you're, you have to compromise from the dent. So somewhere along the lines the frame has been shortened. But that's the whole point of the wave down tube, is that you're not going to dent it. So there's no room for it to bend, basically. Uh, fork, just a full Kamali, one piece steer tube with welding preload, thread insert. Uh, I'll talk about the fork in a little bit. Uh, so we got a handlebar, full Kamali Triumph XL replica, 8.5 inch rise, all the details, you can look at that if you really want to. Stem, Sunday Freeze top load. I'm not really a top load guy, but I have another stem on the way. Uh, what do we got? I got brakes on. I might actually keep the brakes this year, which is something new for me. I switch it to the left because I keep hitting my finger, jabbing it into the brake lever when I ride the bars. So. So, uh, I have it on my throwing hand, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, grips. I got the Aaron Ross 2 grips. They're the keyboard grips, other people know it as. I like them. Comfy grips. I missed having them. Uh, I got my seat, Odyssey, principal, Aaron Ross, as well, it's keyboard, Aaron Ross's thing. What else do I have? Oh, the uh, seat post, Odyssey convertible. One of my favorite seat posts I've ever actually had. And you know, it sounds pretty weird saying I have a favorite seat post, but I don't know, I'm weird. Okay, seat clamp, Sunday Slim. Uh, sprocket, Sunday Saber Tooth, 28 Tooth. I personally love 28 Tooth. Good control, I just like it, good gear ratio. Um, cranks, Austin Thunderbolt. I'd have to say the best cranks I've ever had. I don't care what anyone says, they're my favorite. You got lifetime warranty. I know you don't, when you buy these bikes complete, you don't get the lifetime warranty. But if you talk to Sunday, if you if you manage to break these cranks, obviously you'll be like, okay, wow, like, bow down to you because somehow you managed to do that. Uh, 175 millimeter. I don't really like 175. I've been riding 170 on my other bike. So now it just kind of feels weird. Uh, 22 millimeter bottom bracket sealed. Pedals, twisted PC. Well, I don't really care for the twisted PCs. I seem to wreck them too quick or blow the bearings up. Uh, rims, I got obviously quadrant rims. They're good rims. They're definitely no G Sport Birdcage rims, but I mean, Someday I'll get them. Uh, front hub, Odyssey Bandero 2. Female axles. I never really thought anything about female axles until I rode my last year's bike with just straight axles. I bent them, and once you bend them, you're bending your fork and putting pressure where there shouldn't be pressure. And overall, female axles would be you keep all your sockets the same size. No need for messing around. Uh, rear hub, I got the Odyssey Quartet. Not bad. I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, tires, Aaron Ross, 20.235 on the front and 20.210 on the rear. I don't know what to say about the sizes. I, I like my two fours. Um, chain, there is no chain. Uh, the guy forgot to send it, but the full link, I don't like full links. Half links, you slam the back in. Just makes the bike overall smaller. So, what I think of the bike, well, first off, my other bike I had. It was a Vapor Flip. I might bring it in, show you guys what I think about it. But I'm going to start with my bars. These bars are stock Sunday bars. And when you become, I'm not going to say a batch rider, I'm not full of myself, but like, these bars don't withstand what they should, or maybe they do. I just end up breaking them or bending them. Like, the rise is good, the width is good, it just, 
I don't feel comfortable riding them, but I'm on a hunt for vapor blue bars right now, so maybe I'll find them. Sunday Free Stem. Cheap, affordable, kind of cool looking. Um, I found on my other bike, it slipped quite a bit, but maybe that was my fault. Maybe I didn't tighten something right, but. Um, headset, I got the Odyssey Monogram headset. I swapped it out from the stock one because on my other bike, I had the stock one and it ended up bending my head tube here, mobilizing the frame and basically destroying it. So whenever you do tighten your headset, it just gets loose again because it has that extra room to move. Uh, frame, 20.75. I, I don't know, I like 20, 25. A lot more comfortable, easier to whip and stuff, but I'll live with it for now. Chain stays small, so that's good. Smaller chain stays easier to spin around and stuff. The fork. I do not like this fork. The dropouts just look weak, and they are because I broke my last one. I bent them. So, I don't know. I, I'm glad we don't sell this as a part because like, I just wouldn't trust it from any riders. The tires. Grippy. I like them. They're not big enough, but they're really cool. Wheels. I love these wheels. I have no complaints with these wheels. Uh, yeah, if I could have Odyssey wheels on all my bikes, I would. It's worth the money that I could pay for it. And thinking it comes on a stock bike, that's pretty good. Uh, Sabertooth Sprocket. I don't know. Like, I've ripped teeth off of these sprockets before, but that might just be, like, my fault. I don't know. Cranks, I got the Thunderbolts. These are my favorite cranks. I'm learning crank arm grinds. They're solid, bar-looking crank, you know, easy for a bit more of a platform and easy to land whips, like catch crank. Um, 170, smaller, easier to spin, whip, lots of things, you feel closer. And I always thought that was just like whatever, but after riding this in my garage here, like, it's a huge difference. I wish I had 170s on here. Pedals, like I said, bearings blow out, they're plastic, they tear off and stuff. I want to look for some JCPC pedals, they're my favorite. Uh, seat, good seat, solid, fat seat, easy for bars. The seat posts in particular, I don't know why, but I just love the Odyssey convertible seat posts. They're, they have like a laid back 80s look, I think that's cool, I'm into that stuff. Uh, it says Odyssey right there, I like anything that says Odyssey on it. Uh, pegs, I've got the Animal Butcher pegs, they're the only peg I ride really. Uh, what else have I got going on here? The Quartet Hub. I never had many problems with it, but inside a hub there's Pauls and a cassette hub that catch the hub so you can move, right? But after a while the Pauls get used, they break, and then you start skipping and it just becomes a pain. So I'm probably going to get my Odyssey clutch laced to this room because I, I like free coasters. I've been riding them. I just I like them. Good feel. So. Next on here is the frame. I want to talk about the frame. Like I said, it's a stock bike, so it's stock. You know, you're paying for a stock bike, you're not building a custom bike. And what I mean by that is that on this bike, the dropouts, they're really concerning because uh, basically they're really thin, they bend easy, they look cheap just looking at it, uh, but that's a stock frame. That's what you get. You buy an aftermarket frame, I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. The differences and the reason why I have different preferences and stuff on the frame. So as I was saying about dropouts and stock bikes and custom bikes, um, if you take a look here to the width of this dropout, ordinary bikes you, know, you just think that's normal, but you take a look at this, this is an aftermarket frame, you see the difference in how thick it is and it's a lot stronger. And basically when I'm riding a bike, I feel much safer if I have a stronger frame. Like I have nothing to worry about, nothing's going to bend, nothing's going to be broken. But right now I'm on the hunt for a fun day frame that's in the vapor blue, so it has those dropouts. Many stock bikes don't even have dropouts like that, so I guess it's just I'm thankful for that, I guess. I love Sunday. And uh, yeah, like, you just look at bikes like this, you just see differences. And, all sorts of stuff. Like this is a full aftermarket bike and that's a complete stock bike with Odyssey components. And if you look at the cranks, you know, they're exact same cranks, just 170 mil. 
exact same. Like when I mean like that, it's like this is an aftermarket Sunday frame, and that's a stock Sunday frame. And then you look at the Odyssey components, and they never dipped out on us. Like still solid, 100% Odyssey parts. And that's what I love. I have so much trust, so loyal Odyssey. I just that's all I ride. I love Odyssey parts. And uh, yeah. So this is the Vapor Flip bike, and honestly, it looks pretty ghetto right now. Uh, I do not have matching tires on it. I don't know where the keyboard ones went. Uh, these grips are pretty erect. Uh, the bars you can probably see are pretty bent. That's what I was talking about. Uh, exact same bike as the blue one, but uh, just it didn't survive 13-year-old me, which kind of sucks. I'm biting myself in the ass now, but. As you can see, there's no cranks. Uh, I sold them so I could buy other bike parts and stuff. So that's also really stupid. Uh, same parts, you know, convertible seat post, seat. Same size of frame and everything. Headset, you can see it's just, it's, it's, it's fact. And uh, yeah, I wish this bike wasn't wrecked because it was pretty cool. I like the red colors a lot more than the blue, I think. But uh, yeah, dropouts. All right, well, dropouts. I bent these, so whenever you tighten it, it's not tightening even. It's just, just a mess. It was so frustrating for me. Thirteen-year-old me is getting frustrated with bikes that I wish I could just ride. And that's what I mean by the stock frames; they just don't survive after progression, I guess. Um, I wrecked the top cap, that was my fault. You know, like you find a socket, you think that fits, and then all of a sudden it's in a million pieces and it doesn't work. So don't do that. Use the right size. Don't be an idiot. Uh, but yeah, like this bike is just wrecked. Like, it's just kind of funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I put them together. I don't know, like this is, jeez. I don't know. Both kind of cool. I'm gonna put the blue tires if I find them. On that one. Maybe flip some parts around. I don't know what it'll do yet. That doing is pretty cool though. Uh, oh yeah, a wheel. I'm gonna have to this. I'm gonna have hub guards, but just demolish my hub. Everything's just not there anymore. So yeah, hub guards. I'll be putting those on this. I have the G Sport Uniguard. guard. The drive side, I'm gonna put the Quartet hub guard on it. I got the BSD, I forget what hub guard these are, but they fit the Vendero too, so I'll throw them on. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what I do with this thing, I have no idea. So, uh, thanks for watching my bike check of my Aaron Ross bikes. Man, I bet you can just tell how bent those bars are, eh? Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Dalton's channel, that's cool stuff. Go get some bike clips or something. See what I can do. Thanks. Hey, yo, rookie, it's a game that a fool plays. I'm sitting here reminiscing about my school days.